tribute the member from Oshawa. Thank you, Speaker. It is my honour to stand today and pay tribute to Clifford Pilkey on behalf of Ontario's New Democrats. I would like to first and again welcome some of Cliff's family to the Legislature, welcome to his daughter Jackie Zaka, his son and former NDP, MPP and Minister Alan Pilkey, and his grandchildren John and Jane Pilkey. And we know that family and friends are watching this morning in Oshawa and across the province. As we have heard, Cliff leaves behind a legacy of powerful change, change that broke down barriers, that opened doors and invited people through change that strengthened the labour movement and workers' rights, that strengthened health and safety across the province, and challenged racism and long-held ideas about women's rights. Today we will remember and start at the beginning. Viola Pilkey remembered those humble beginnings. Clifford George Pilkey was one of nine children and came from one of the poorest families in Oshawa. When he was young, his father would take him to Memorial Park in Oshawa in the 30s when the Depression was on, and he listened to diverse ideas and opinions at a speaker's corner ideas that would no doubt influence his own thinking. When the Union came to Canada, Cliff was selling papers on the corner. He used to sell the Toronto Star at the Four Corners during the strike. Apparently, with his big signature voice, he would sing to sell his papers. Cliff left school before the age of grade nine and worked in the North Plant on the boys' line in General Motors. He worked until the war came, and then he served in the Canadian Armed Forces from 1942 till the end of the war. He was a member of the Royal Canadian Legion, Branch 43, in Oshawa for 62 years. After the war, Cliff came back to work at General Motors and was involved in union leadership at Local 222. By 1957, he was the president of the Canadian UAW Council and served for a decade as president to the Oshawa and District Labour Council. He was elected in 1962 as an Oshawa alderman and deputy mayor, and in 1967 was elected to the provincial legislature. Cliff was elected to Queen's Park and served as the MPP for Oshawa from 1967 to 71. He ran against a Tory incumbent and won, and started his very effective term here in this legislature. He was the Labour critic for the NDP and was successful in advancing workers' rights and getting strong Labour legislation through. Cliff Pilkey was always known for having, as we've heard, a robust and booming voice. And Stephen Lewis, who was then the leader of Ontario's New Democrats, said that most members who needed to speak to their constituents would pick up the phone. But when Cliff Pilkey wanted to speak to his constituents in Oshawa, all he had to do was open a window in his Queen's Park office and speak directly to them. <laughs> but Cliff's voice was not only loud, it was strong and true. Cliff had a respect for others and they a respect for him. He used to say of Bill Davis that they went to their respective corners and bashed the heck out of each other, but they did really get along. And Bill Davis said that he and Cliff Pilkey respected one another, that they really did have fun together, even though Cliff was philosophically challenged. <laughs> After Queen's Park, Cliff continued to represent the people of Oshawa and workers in Ontario. After another term as alderman, he served as president of the Ontario Federation of Labour from 1976 until he retired in 1986. In 1978, Cliff helped Labour win the passage of Bill 70, Ontario's Occupational Health and Safety Act. He knew that workers and workplace representatives would need comprehensive training after the passage of that bill, and his strong leadership and advocacy resulted in a workers' training centre known still as the Workers' Health and Safety Centre, which continues to lead on health and safety issues. The WHSC is a living tribute to his dedication to health and safety issues and his commitment to the workers of Ontario. Cliff was also a powerful voice championing women's rights and human rights. In 1982, he made a legendary speech at an OFL convention full of union brothers who weren't quite ready to see reproductive rights as a labour issue. He stood firmly and behind his principles to support the women delegates. He was a real and sincere fighter for women's rights. Cliff saw injustice and saw ways to challenge it. Also, under Cliff Pilkey's leadership, for the first time in the Canadian labour movement, there was a comprehensive campaign against racism that engaged and challenged the broader public. Over 30 years later, we're still undertaking this vital work. Cliff Pilkey's legacy endures. Since his passing, there have been some very special tributes. The Canadian Civil Liberties Association presented a special recognition award, Unifor named a changemaker bursary, and the OFL established the biennial Cliff Pilkey Awards Dinner and Labour Activist Award. The City of Oshawa named a two and a half kilometre part of the Oshawa Waterfront Trail with a plaque in tribute to his service, contributions and achievement to the Oshawa community. Cliff was awarded the Centennial Medal of Canada in 1967, was inducted into the Order of Ontario in 1990, and awarded 
the Diamond Jubilee Medal in 2012. There is an extensive public record of Cliff's accomplishments and legacy, but I would like to thank the family who shared some special pieces and stories that can't be found online. His character and life lessons clearly influenced both of his children, who have also pursued paths of service and have had a dynamic and measurable impact in their communities. Cliff was a wonderful dad. He appreciated the simplicity of life, and he never lived life heavy. He took life and its challenges seriously and could fight to the end with the best of them and work to win. But at the end of the day, it's life. There were lessons to be learned, but there were always songs to sing. He was apparently a phenomenal singer. Even until he passed at the age of 90, he still found reasons to sing. As Ed Broadbent recalled, he was the ultimate happy warrior. No matter what the struggles were, you never saw him down. He was a sort of up at him kind of guy and always at the front of the parade, not in the back. He inspired and taught people to be activists, advocates, leaders, and change makers. He would say, don't lose heart because your life and your efforts are at the embryo stage. Be strong and stay on course and let it grow and let it blossom. Stay true and never lose heart. Cliff Pilkey was not a man of few words, but instead he was a man of powerful and resonant words. Thank you to Cliff's family and thank you to Cliff Pilkey for staying the course and making it broader, safer and fairer for everyone after. Ontario is better for the commitment and legacy of Cliff Pilkey. Thank you.